Hi, I'm Zoe Triska, the book's editor of the Huffington Post. I'm here with Robin Carr, author of the new book, The Wanderer. Hi, Robin. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Can you tell me a little bit about the series in general? This is a brand new series that will probably be long running, at least six books, but probably more. And it's set on the Oregon coast, which is a really rugged, sexy place. And it's a, a community story. It's a book not just about a hero and a heroine, but about an entire small town. And, and can you give us any more details on what happened? Uh, let's see. Uh, three people fall in love with three other people. <laughs> Wow, that sounds very intriguing. So you use very strong male characters, but they're also very sensitive. What's your inspiration for these characters? I think that they are the men you want your daughter to marry. I don't think you want this alpha guy who doesn't hit with a closed hand, you know. I think you want a good man who's very strong, very courageous, really ponies up, steps up to the plate, but can change a diaper. That was very well said. I definitely want that. I know you do. <laughs> and I'm picking one out for you right now. Where do you like to read? I read every night after work is done in my um, in a couch that has a lazy boy attachment. And, um, and I read, I have television on, I have a book in my lap until I nod off every night. What are you reading right now? I just finished an advanced copy of a Cindy Gerard novel, and it's wonderful. She writes military heroes. What is the one line in poetry, literature, or film that is your favorite? My favorite is my new mantra, everything will be all right in the end, and if it's not yet all right, it's not yet the end. And where's that from? That's from the best exotic Daffodil Hotel. And what is the one author or book that you'd recommend everybody read? Well, I like contemporary romance. So my favorite authors are Jill Shalvis, Kristen Hagen, Susan Elizabeth Phillips. And that's, that's enough for a start. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank you.